Hey guys, it's Amy. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you're all having a wonderful day as always. So I have been trying to make a video all day today and my I'm having crazy tech issues. It's like no matter what I do, something keeps going wrong. So hopefully we can get through this video without any more problems. If we make it through this video, I will be so happy, and if not, I think I'm gonna have to wait for another day because clearly luck is not on my side today. But um, this is a totally different video than I usually make. I, I just, I had to do it. I had to do it because it's been driving me nuts. So today, I'm gonna talk to you guys about Johnny Depp. Yes, Johnny Depp. He hasn't been killed. This isn't a murder. Nothing like that. He hasn't killed anyone. Although it is technically a, a legality thing, so it's kind of in my realm. I've been watching all these things about Johnny Depp with regards to Amber Heard, who he was married to, and then supposedly there was a whole big thing about her allegations that he was beating on her. And the thing is, I remember this from a while back when this started in like 2016 and it came out and she had bruises on her face and all this crap in these pictures. And I just remember thinking, wow, Johnny Depp, who I like, I like, I always like Johnny Depp. Johnny Depp is beating his wife and it just ruined him for me. Cause you know, yeah, yeah. I don't, I'm not a big fan of people that abuse their spouses, whichever direction it goes. And the thing is, I just took it for granted that it was true. She's telling the story. She's got bruises all over her face. She's, you know, crying in the media and whatnot, as far as I remember. And I just kind of took it at face value. So when I saw Johnny Depp, that's all I thought of for years. Like, oh, Johnny Depp used to like him, but now he's abusing me. Now, recently, all of this stuff is being leaked about Amber Heard, his wife that had accused him of this. And that it's basically it's the opposite. This woman was basically blackmailing him to give her what she wanted out of the divorce, or she was gonna basically tell a bunch of stories about him to get everybody to hate him. And that's what she did, and it completely worked. For me, at least, I completely believed her. And now come to find out, it's completely the opposite way around. And Amber Heard is an asshole. Ironically, her initials are A-H, so she really is an asshole. Her parents even knew. It's just really disturbing to me because this ruins things for other people that are going through something like this. This is like when someone cries rape and it turns out it's just some shit to, you know, get back at a boyfriend or something like that. It makes it difficult for all the other people who really have had issues like that to be believed. And that's what really makes me mad about this because she made a serious accusation about him where he was regularly beating her and that he was this awful person that was crazy, that was throwing stuff around, throwing bottles at her and whatnot. And it turns out, literally, it's the complete opposite. She is beating on him. She's throwing bottles at him. She actually threw a bottle at him that cracked next to his finger and chopped off part of his pinky. I think, no, 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 not even his pinky. Chopped off part of one of his fingers. So she's awful. And... There's a lot of videos of them talking to each other, and it's just a lot of her saying that she's basically going to screw him over, and him saying, I didn't do anything. And, and then there's other videos where she's trying to convince him that he did something he didn't do. But that's what it sounds like. It sounds like she's lying, but trying to convince him into almost believing a lie about himself. It's crazy. But then she also has these arguments with him about how instead of being willing to fight with her, um, he, he decides to leave the room every time. So she wants to punch him. She starts throwing bottles at him and breaking stuff. He leaves the room. So she talks about what a piece of shit he is, that he refuses to sit there and talk things out with her when she starts hitting him. This is insane to me. And the thing is, if this were reversed and it was a man, he would have been so fired from every single thing and so hated by so many people, which is what happened to Johnny Depp. His movies started to do really shitty. He wasn't cast in certain things. He was kind of blackballed because he became a wife beater. 
But now it's turning around that she's the actual abuser here. And there's so many things that prove it. And is she getting fired? Are people hating her? I don't know. I just saw her on a, a, a freaking makeup commercial, and I was like, what the hell is this bitch doing on here? And the funny thing is, is that a lot of people don't even have a clue who Amber Heard is. A police officer went in to see what was going on with them one time when she was whooping his ass, and she didn't know who this lady, she didn't have a clue who this girl was. She was just some girl. No one knows who this girl really is. But I knew who she was from back in the day because I actually liked her as an actress. I don't know why, because she's not even a good actress. And that's the thing. She's not even a good actress. She's really, she's a beautiful girl. She was in shitty movies. I like shitty movies. Everybody always makes fun of me for that. I like these really stupid movies. I like horror movies. And of course, most horror movies are dumb. Um, and I like, like, you know, corny 80s movies and, like, some of the, like, teen chick flicks, which is ridiculous. But that's the kind of crap I like. So I've seen a lot of her movies, because that's the kind of shit she's in. Like, I, she was in The Stepfather. She was, like, the, she's always the hot girlfriend. She's always the hot girlfriend. But I remember first seeing her in Never Back Down, which I still think is a really good movie. The jerky guy that's a badass and can beat everybody up, and then there's the other kid who comes on who's brand new that ends up fighting with him, too, and it's like a, a boxing movie or whatever it is, or not even boxing. I don't know. They're fighting. They're in the gym fighting, whatever. Cam Gigandet, or whatever his name is, he's in it as the bad guy, who I love him. And, and she's actually his girlfriend at one point, and switches over to the other girl. I don't know why I'm telling you this story, but that's the, I always loved that movie. I think I have it on DVD. I like those stupid movies. Although I think that one was actually a pretty good movie. So I knew who she was. Now it turns out that she's an awful, awful person. And this isn't just something where, oh, she's a mean girl that, like, broke a guy's heart or talked shit about him or something like that. She ruined him, tried to ruin him and his credibility as just a human being. Because being a person that abuses their wife, especially when he's like 50, he was like 53 and she was like 23, so there's a 30-year age gap, which already looks bad, although that's what every Hollywood guy does, except for my boy Keanu Reeves. I lo he's my favorite. He's absolutely, He's been my favorite since Speed, just saying. I think I have a poster of him still. But uh, there's a 30-year age difference, so, you know, there's already that. And then she's like 115 pounds at one point. So not only is he abusing a woman, that he's abusing his wife. And then, you know, she's, she's really thin and tiny. And that's another thing that she went on and on about is like, oh yeah, Johnny, go ahead, go into court and tell everybody that it was an equal fight, that, you know, you were, you were defending yourself against somebody who was 115 pounds, 150 pounds. She was blatantly saying that, yeah, she's the one who hits him and no one's going to believe that she's the one who was doing it because she's just this fragile little girl. Well, sucks for you, buddy, because your shit was taped. So all of this stuff was taped. Not only was that taped, but there was this whole incident when they were in Australia while he was filming a movie where she went insane, and you can hear her in the background sounding completely manic. And it turns out she was, like, on drugs. She's a, she takes a lot of drugs. She drinks a lot. She acts insane. But she literally seemed like she might be actually manic. Actually manic. They showed, oh, well, she's a cheater, too, because they kept showing, I'm not even going to say that that's that big of a deal, in all honesty. These are famous people that aren't together all that often because they're off shooting scenes and whatnot. So do I really believe that, that famous people, these rich famous people, are usually monogamous? Not really. So, I mean, who knows? Although, I will say Johnny Depp, in his conversations with her, seemed to really be in love with her, even though she was just using him for clout and money. But, um... I mean, whatever. She was cheating. She, they showed her using his penthouse to bring up guys like James Franco and Elon Musk. Which, by the way, Elon Musk and Amber Heard is the weirdest sounding couple I've ever heard of. But whatever. She just comes across as a spoiled little bitch once you see her. There's a video where she's got like five friends sitting in the elevator holding the doors open while she's like picking through food 
and eating in front of the elevator. Like, bitch, get on the elevator and then do that. Why are you making them all wait? What the hell's wrong with you? And then, to top it all off, she starts, like, th she threw food that she didn't, like, pieces of, I don't know, she was eating a sandwich or something, she didn't like, like, the, pe the pickles on it or something. She was, like, throwing the pickles onto the public ground by the, in the hallway until one of the, the, the women in the elevator came off the elevator and started helping her. Like, she put her hand out and she's like, go ahead, you, you, all right, buddy, you, you put a, your pickles in my hand, I'll take care of it. Like, her mother. This girl is ridiculous. And she just looks so, mind you, she's a pretty girl. She's a very pretty girl, which is the only reason that anything's ever worked for her. When they showed her in these videos, she was just so much smaller than I thought she looked. So she must have lost a ton of weight since the times that I've seen her in movies. Because I just remember her being like thicker in like a good way. She had curves. It looked good on her. And in these videos, she, she, kind of, she didn't look good like that. I mean, she's still very pretty. Her face is just very pretty. Until she draws makeup on it to make herself look like she's been beat up by her husband. Ugh. Well, anyway, so now that I've gone on a rant about that, and I hope you guys followed along with me, I hope you guys check out a bunch of these videos about Johnny Depp. You should check out the YouTube channel, Incredibly Average, if you are interested in the Johnny Depp story. Because I've seen, I've watched a lot of different videos, and this one seems to be the best one to me. He just basically breaks it down for you, but then also gives you the audio of the two of them talking, he puts in his own closed captioning so you can tell what's going on and you can tell who's saying it. And he just makes it a lot easier to follow. And I also agree with a lot of the stuff he says. So if you're interested in this Johnny Depp story, look into Incredibly Average. And I hope you found this video interesting. I know it's totally different than what I usually do. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys stuck around till the end. If you did, give yourselves a nice high five. And then high five my like button and my sub button and the little bell. If you could do that, that would be awesome. Leave a comment below. Let me know if you think Amber Heard's an asshole or what you think the true story is. Maybe you think it's the other way around. Maybe you think that um, she's not lying. She's clearly lying. But maybe you don't agree with me. Let me know. I'll get back to you. Okay? So please like, share, subscribe, and comment below. And I will see you next time with another regular video of mine talking about whatever murder I feel like talking about that day. So if you got any recommendations, let me know. But I do have a list of them coming up, so I will be back with you pretty soon. All right. Thank you so much, guys. Be safe and healthy out there and have a wonderful day. Okay. Thank you, guys. Bye.